Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 18th, 2020. So we'll start by looking at the, the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have absolutely collapsed in the US dollar index. We're at 89.71 at this point. And we have been trading this low in the US dollar index for last two to three years. And at this point, we are most likely going to go significantly lower, but we will have pullback in between. For example, tomorrow, I do expect this market to rally a little bit. And that is also a perfect setup because I also do believe that most of the indices will have quite a big pullback uh, tomorrow session or probably on Monday session. There is expected to be a um, stimulus, stimulus bill to be, um, to, uh, to be accepted in the weekend, as you can hear the news that the Republicans and Democrats are working on a new stimulus bill, and they are probably going to agree on that bill in the weekend. So there will be very good news, and uh, at the end of Friday session, we'll probably see the rally. So we'll probably the, um, the market will most likely... Uh, decline and then rally at the end of Friday's session. So that's probably what is going to happen. But when I say I expect a pullback here, that is because we are on the edge of being oversold. These technical indicators are basically turning around at this point. So the CCI is flat. Uh, the stochastic is, uh, is crossing the signal line at this point. And usually the MACD takes a while before it turns around. But if we look at the Bollinger Band, for example, we are very overstretched at this point. We are way across um, at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And usually when that happens, we see something similar to this. So we get way outside, trade sideways, or we get way outside and then rally a little bit. So just keep that in mind. We are basically very overstretched. And usually what happens is that you have um, a pullback when you basically are that overstretched. So... We haven't been trading this low since basically all the way back in 2018. So just keep that in mind. We are testing 18, 2018 levels. If these levels break, that is 87.89 is the very lowest in 2018. Then we're heading all the way down to these levels. And that is at 79. And that will have massive implications for... For example, commodities, pressure metals, the indices, and so on. Everything will become really cheap, for example, in commodities, and therefore demand for them will increase, and prices will, prices will therefore also increase. So if you look at oil, we can see that we continue our, go to the daily chart, we continue our rally here. At this point, we are just at the edge of, $50. We're at 48.59 at this current point. We had a minor pullback at the end of the US session, but I think a pullback from here, it will be minor, probably towards 47.73, which is the previous highs here, and then we'll continue to rally up towards 50. We'll most likely overshoot 50. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go to 51, for example, before we turn around. But that is to be seen. Um, at this point, we aren't significantly overbought. Technical indicators are still very bullish, but it is basically this resistant area here that we will basically test. And if we manage to break through that, then we are going much higher. Then we're actually going to 60. So pullbacks are buying opportunity at this point. The closer we get to the 20 exponential, well, the better the buying opportunity. I won't be selling this until I basically see a really negative a candlestick uh, similar to this one over here. Then I will consider basically starting to sell oil. But that is basically uh, usually a massive rally up towards the 50, then a major pullback, and then you continue, you basically have a decline towards the 20 exponential. If that breaks, then you go to the 50. So just keep that in mind. I'm staying away from this until I basically see a candlestick similar to that one. 
So let's look at natural gas. We can see that we, well, this is day four. I said when we got where when we were at day uh, one here at the 20 exponential, we may, may likely see three days or five days uh, where we basically are stuck here at the 20 exponential. And usually what happens is that you roll over and go much lower. So we have broken down, rallied towards the 20, broken down, rallied towards the 20, broken down, rallied towards the 20. And then I do expect a breakdown towards the 200 moving average. There is a massive snowstorm hitting the um, east, uh, northeast part of the United States. A uh, big portion of the population in the United States live in this area. So demand for natural gas will increase. The question is if it will break here or we'll uh, have this pullback towards the 200 moving average uh, before we rally. That is the question. This market, when it takes off, it can take off very, very, very aggressively. But just keep an eye out for the weather conditions. It does not mean that that if one news channel says that the weather conditions are very bad, that all of a sudden this will basically explode to the upside. There will be um, signals to look at. And at this point, I do believe that we are going towards the 200 moving average before we have a massive buy into the upside. So probably towards three, I don't think that we're going to 3.3. But if history, we can just look at history. This is what happened when we had a, a polar vortex, I think it was cold. Uh, and the temperatures got extremely, extremely cold in the in the northern part of the United States and in Canada. So it can go all the way from 2.7 and it went all the way up to 5. So just keep in mind, it can go parabolic when, when the weather conditions change drastically. But I'm looking for a buy-in at the 200 moving average. So let's look at copper. We have rallied yet again today, probably because the US dollar is very cheap at this point, and, uh, but we have not taken out these previous highs. So until we take out these previous highs, we are going to be stuck here. We are significantly overbought at this point, 75 and RSI. Technical indicators are still very bullish, so pullbacks towards the 3.49 level, which is right here. That is basically your bottom. The 20, move, uh, 20 exponential is just moving this way. So that is probably a pullback towards here. It's basically a major buying opportunity. So let's look at gold. So we have broken the 50 moving average, pullback quite a bit at the end of the, on the end of the session. So I am not going to buy into this yet. This is a very encouraging sign. It looks like we're creating uh, uh, higher lows. So for example, low here and low here. So these basically are higher lows. And that could mean that we are going to create a new trend heading towards 2000. But at this point, we need to break this re significant resistant area. So last time we got here, we just absolutely collapsed. And if the US dollar starts to appreciate in tomorrow's session or Friday or next week, then we could see basically a pullback from basically the US dollar. So we're not in the woods yet, a woods yet. If we break basically this trend line here, then yes, then we are going to go significantly higher. And you could also make the argument that this is our new support line. So Getting close to this line here, we'll bounce from it and so on. But at this point, we are trading within this triangle. And until we break out of this triangle, I'm just going to stick to my theory that we're going to uh, be pulling back when we get to this upper resistance line. And we're going to head back towards this low or this new support line here so we'll just see but we are very bullish at this point there's a lot of room to the upside 
But if the US dollar turns around and starts appreciating, that is going to have a, have a massive impact on gold at this point. So let's look at silver. So silver has broken through its uh, resistant line. We did that yesterday, yeah, two days ago. And we are just continuing upwards. At this point, we're on the edge of being over, but technical indicators are still very bullish, but a pullback towards the 24 or $25 level or roughly 25.29 is basically your entry point at this stage. That's the previous highs from yesterday. And pullback from there is basically your buying opportunity to head towards this area here. So that is going to be the challenge for silver is basically getting through this area. So we'll get there in well a few days. That starts at twenty six point seventy nine, and it all is all the way up to twenty twenty eight point sixteen. After that, it's the all time highs that we are going to target. But this was a major barrier back in August and September. And we broke down from here because we didn't manage to get get through it. So we'll see what happens here. But if US dollar starts to appreciate, then we can see this pullback at any points. So let's look at platinum. We can see that we have rallied and then gave some of those gains back. At this point, we'll probably just see more of the same until we get to these uh, these very highs here. So technical indicators are still very bullish. We have some room to the upside. We're at 65, not overbought. So we may go and retest these previous highs. And then we'll most likely make a double top here before we head back towards the 20 exponential. So we may see a move like this and then go back towards the 20 and then you can basically buy into this. Um, to buy it here is very, very risky. To sell it here just makes no sense. But a pullback towards the 20, that is basically your entry point with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at Pallium. So yesterday I said that it looked like we were creating a triangle, something similar to that. And uh, we saw it right here. So we did break above this triangle and then we pull back right into the corner of the triangle. So it will be really interesting to see what basically happens tomorrow. These technical indicators are looking more bullish than they are bearish. So I am favoring the upside. I think that we are going to rally from here. And the first resistant area that we're going to run into is roughly 2.442. Uh, so we have been trading in that area and this area here. So this is basically major resistance, major support. And at this point, I think that we're going to break up towards this resistant line. There is where we are going to go. So there is, it is basically a perfect setup at this point to basically rally to the upside. If we rally to the, if we break down from here, then we're heading towards these very lows. So just keep that in mind. So let's look at aluminium. So we did rally quite a bit today. We head towards these previous highs and then we absolutely collapsed. So I said yesterday that this market doesn't seem like it knows where it wants to go. We have tested the 20 exponential several times. We have tested these previous highs several times. At this point, I think it is the depreciation of the US dollar that is making this market uh, rally. And uh, if the US dollar turns around, that means that this is going to head straight towards the 50 moving average. So. If the 20 exponential average, if we test that again, if that holds, then there is a plausible buying opportunity. I have no interest in basically selling this because the lower it gets or the closer that we get to the 20 or the 50, the better the buying opportunity. 
technical uh, indicators for aluminium are fairly all over the place. So the CCI is bullish at this point. The stochastic is, uh, is crossing the signal line, but the MACD is not, and the RSI is fairly bullish. So we are at 62, so we are fairly high at this point. So pull back towards the 20, or even better, the 50. That is basically a major, major buying opportunity. Well, if we enter the um, 20 exponential, then we have a stop loss around underneath here, roughly at 1.976. And if we enter at 50, then we'll have a stop loss here at uh, 1.900. So let's look at nickel. So we did rally and then gave most of those gains back. And at this point, I think that we're just going to turn around, head towards, first of all, 17.002. Uh, uh, and if that doesn't hold, we're heading towards a 20 exponential moving average. So it will be very interesting. I expected this to fall even further today, didn't. These technical indicators are showing that we are going to go lower. So it's only a matter of time before we break to the downside. And the further we get down, the better the buying opportunity. The 20 has been holding for a very, very long time. So it is also expected now to hold. So let's just, this is um, a trade that I'm looking forward to. But at this point, it's too high. We need to get it needs to go further down in order to enter this market. So let's look at sugar. We can see that we have rallied the third consecutive day, and at this point, we are just above the 50 moving average. But I'm not interested interesting in entering this market until we are trading well above the 50 and probably are taking out these two candlesticks here. So technical indicators, they are looking promising. Stochastic is very bullish. CCI is very bullish. The MACD is crossing the signal line probably tomorrow or Monday session. And there's a lot of room to the upside. So it is looking very encouraging for, for sugar. But at the moment, we still have the barrier here at the 50 moving average. If I enter, I will target the very highest here. And I will stop loss right underneath these um, candlesticks here. So roughly at 0 0.1398. So this is a plausible trade to enter. Uh, probably not tomorrow, but on Monday. Because uh, usually it's very, very expensive to hold most of these commodities over the weekend. So let's uh, look at uh, cotton. We have gone absolutely parabolical in cotton today. We're trading at uh, 0 0.7695. Uh, we are significantly uh, overbought at this point. Technical indicators are still very bullish, but a pullback towards uh, the uh, 0 0.75. That is very likely at this point. If you look at the bullish band for cotton, we can see that we are way, way, way across the upper part of the Bollinger Band. So the last time we did that was here. And you can see we fell all the way down towards the 20 exponential moving average and then rallied again. So we may see that here. This is a plausible sell at this point. There are distance between uh, um, the price level here and the 20, uh, 20 uh, moving average is quite substantial, so it is possible to basically start selling this towards there. I will still, still wait until we get there and in order to buy because we are in uptrend and that means we're going up, not going down. So let's look at uh, Cocoa. So I get rid of the Bollinger Bands. So we have found resistance and support here at the 50 moving average. This is also where we have the Fibonacci retracements. So we have, for example, we're just trading above the Fibonacci retracement, the 50%. We have the 50, uh, Fibonacci, 50 moving average right here. And we also have these technical indicators turning around. CCI is turning around. Stochastic is becoming flat. The same goes for the MACD. And the uh, uh, RSI is also flat at this point. So it may well be that this is the bottom of the market. And at this point, we are going to head to higher levels. So 
what we could expect at this point, if you look at the opposite Fibonacci retracement, is that we could rally up towards the first, which is at 38.2. That is these previous highs here. That's at 2.6. After that, we have the 50, which is 2.662. And the last one is here at 2.694. If this breaks, that means that we're going to the very highs. So it will be interesting if we break the 20 exponential right here. That means that we are going to go much higher in this market. So I will probably enter the market right here with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential. This market can be very, very volatile when it basically moves. So let's look at wheat. We can see that we have rallied today. We're trading above the 20, the 50 uh, moving average, and this is a very, very encouraging sign. So there is a hurdle in this market uh, which we have to get through, and that is this area here. So the last few months, all the way back to October, this price level has been a major resistant barrier for this market. If we manage to get through here, then it is almost certain that we are going to the previous highs and probably beyond that. Technical indicators for weed are looking promising at the moment. MACD has crossed and uh, is very bullish. The stochastic has become bullish and the CCI is bullish. And so is the RSI. So if we manage to break out of this resistant area, then it is a plausible buy-in. Otherwise, we can just turn around here, which we have done several times since October. So just keep that in mind. Even though this looks very uh, bullish and these indicators look very... in. Um, very um, bullish that does not mean that we are going to test these all times high all time highs again so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to write to, to me and ask a question about these trades if you have questions otherwise good luck and thank you very much